Welcome back everyone to Wake Up West Texas. Let's take a look at those national extremes for the day yesterday. So the highest temperature in the country, Death Valley once again, 119 degrees. Lowest temperature in the country was once again in Gates Park, Montana. They reached a low of 36 degrees. Like I said, we're not going to be anywhere near 36 degrees. We'll be close to this. Not this hot, thankfully, but it's going to be hot for sure. Triple digit days extending once again. Today will be the 12th day in a row that we've seen temperatures over 100 degrees. So right now we're sitting at 11. Today's going to be 12. And the next seven days are all forecasted to be over 100 degrees. And if we do that, we will be right around 17, 18 days straight of temperatures over 100 degrees. That'll put us in fifth place all time of consecutive 100 degree days. 28 is the all time record in 2011, 27 days in 1912, and then 26 in 2010. So if we get up above 18, we'll be right here in the fourth spot if we hit 19 days and then continuing on and on. Hopefully we won't hit that 28 day mark, but the next seven days all are forecasted over 100. So the heat stretch is going to continue for sure. Let's look at heat safety tips. Limit your time outdoors during the peak heating wear light colored clothing, lightweight clothing, and also check on the elderly and the young children. This is very dangerous temperatures. That is why we have a heat advisory in effect. It's because uh, heat index values will be over 105 degrees once again today. So stepping out the door right now, it's 80 degrees, feels like 81. Dew point sitting at 71, very muggy out there this morning. South winds at about 11 miles an hour. So it's hot and it's humid and it's seven in the morning. So can only imagine what it's going to feel like this afternoon. Another scorcher today. Heat advisory through at least Friday. This will probably be extended for the weekend. Streak of 100s to continue and no relief in sight for at least the next week. We might get a cold front in here about Wednesday, Thursday of next week. But until then, temperatures over 100, well above 100 degrees. Temperatures today about 104 here in San Angelo, 103 up in Ballinger, 102 forecasted today in Big Spring. So looking at your satellite and radar, not much to talk about. Some high level clouds moving through parts of West Texas. Few showers developing here just to the east of Lubbock. This is going to continue to move east. May scrape far, far northern areas of our viewing area. But otherwise, these are going to stay mainly up to the north towards the Red River and towards uh, portions of Oklahoma. And we're going to stay completely dry. Satellite and radar, mostly clear conditions, mostly sunny conditions expected once again for the afternoon hours. Some light puffy cumulus clouds moving through. Once again, pretty much a repeat of what we saw yesterday. Mostly clear overnight, and then we'll wake into mainly clear conditions once again for your Friday morning. Uh, and it's going to be hot once again for your Friday as well. So today, heat advisory issued, extremely hot. Temperatures right around 104. Tonight, we'll stay warm, dropping to a low right around 78 degrees, mostly clear conditions. And looking at that seven day forecast, we stay pretty much hot and dry with temperatures well above 100 degrees through the weekend, 104, 105. Same thing for the Concho Valley. Next chance of rain comes in about Wednesday, Thursday of next week with a slight cold front. Otherwise, just hot.